so good morning to my dear students and also welcome to electronics online classes okay here in the previous class you are uh, started a new topic that is uh, chapter chapter number 4 and uh, that is nothing but your uh, feedback amplifiers you have studied the new topic that is nothing but the feedback amplifiers and uh, you have discussed already in detail about uh, what is feedback and what is the necessity of feedback and also you have studied about uh, types of feedback and also what are advantages and disadvantages and application of your feedback once again in 5 uh, minutes we can talk about what is studied in the previous class as we know already the feedback is so important technique or process as i said already in 1928 hs black they invented the concept of the feedback and uh, if you are not using feedback then it is not possible to control the parameters it may voltage gain it may input impedance or output impedance or maybe bandwidth but user is not having the control over the parameters because in some time you have to change the parameters or you have to change the characteristics of the amplifier then how to change the characteristics that is by using your uh, feedback technique and also the another most important thing in amplifier the two things are uh, drawbacks two important drawbacks of your amplifier one is your noise another is your distortions it is not possible to eliminate the noise also it is not possible to eliminate the distortions but you can reduce the noise or you can reduce the distortions and uh, if you are not using the feedback we are having the more noise and more distortions but if you use the feedback you have to reduce the noise as well as can reduce the distortion this is about the why are the more important so the feedback and uh, as we know the feedback is a technique or process in this uh, technique or process what actually you are doing means you take the some part of the output and that part of the output or some sample of the output given back to the input it means some part some portion some sample of the output is given back to the input that is the but the technique of feedback it happens in amplifiers that's why it is called as uh, feedback amplifiers or the which amplifier is for is uh, following the or it is uh, working on the on the principal feedback that type of amplifier is but feedback amplifiers it means the which type of amplifier or the amplifier it is uh, working on the principal feedback that type of amplifier is but feedback amplifiers and uh, <coughs> as i said already before going for the feedback you are studying about the two important systems one is called uh, open loop system another is called your uh, closed loop system in open loop system we are not applying any feedback in open loop system it is also called open loop gain the gain without feedback or in open loop system whatever going on the output that does not known about the does not known by the input if sometime the variation or something output may changes that does not uh, affect the input or there is no main input that is nothing but your uh, open loop system as i said the example the fan with auto regulator it is not possible to control the speed of the fan that is a good example for your um, open loop gain in the same way for your um, closed loop system in closed loop system or closed loop gain the gain with feedback it means in your closed loop closed loop system whatever going on the output that is known by the input or you can say the output will be modified by the input and as i said already the example same example you take with the regulator 
the same fan you take with the regulator. By that regulator you can control the speed of the fan. That is good example for your uh, open loop system and closed loop system. And uh, as I said, you have done the two types of feedback and uh, depending upon the your uh, in feedback what you done, sum of the output signal that is given to the input. That it, feedback signal may increase or decrease the input voltage or input signal according to that you have done the classification. You have done the two types of uh, types of uh, feedback we just studied in the last class one is called your positive feedback positive feedback and the second one is about the negative feedback In your uh, positive feedback, what is called positive feedback means the positive feedback nothing but the feedback signal <coughs> and the input signal they are in the same phase. The feedback signal and the input signal they are in the same phase and also the feedback signal will increase the input signal it will be current or voltage. Especially when considering the voltage, they will increase the input voltage or they will increase the gain. That type of feedback is nothing but positive feedback and uh, it is also called as uh, regenerative feedback the positive feedback is also called as regenerative feedback and uh, it is also called as direct feedback and uh, what are the advantages only one advantage that is gain is very more but there are so many disadvantages one is the gain is not stable more distortion more noise and also the frequency response also not good these are the drawbacks of your uh, positive feedback and uh, where you are using positive feedback only in oscillator in oscillator you are using the positive feedback this is the good uh, positive feedback and uh, especially in this topic you are giving more importance to the negative feedback or why you are using negative feedback in amplifiers you are studying the ampli feedback amplifiers what feedback you are using in, in your amplifier keep it in mind in amplifier you are using the negative feedback and what is negative feedback? In negative feedback, the feedback signal and the input signal, they are 180 degree out of phase. The feedback signal and the input signal, they are the 180 degree out of phase. Or, another way, the feedback signal will decrease, they will reduce the input signal. Especially, they will reduce the input voltage or they reduce the gain. That is something but your negative feedback. Negative feedback is also called as uh, degenerative feedback. The negative feedback is also called as degenerative, it is also called as uh, inverse feedback. And uh, what are the advantages? As I said, it is so important question for your exam point of view. There are two or three questions. Explain the advantages of negative feedback. The most important thing is stability in the game. Gain is always stable, it should not variation in the game. As in your uh, Positive feedback, no doubt, gain is very more, but that gain is not constant. But in your negative feedback, the stability of the gain, gain is stable. And second one, you are having a very less noise, noise is very less. And the third one, less distortion, distortion is also very less. And the fourth one, you are having the more bandwidth, you are having the more bandwidth. And also we can uh, increase or decrease the input or output impedances. You can increase or decrease or you can control the input or output impedances. And finally, you will get the faithful application. You will get the faithful application or you are having the good frequency response. These are the important advantages of your uh, negative feedback. And only one drawback that is the gain is very less. For your negative feedback, the gain is very less. And uh, as I said, the application is about uh, it is using your computer. This much you have studied in the last class. 
and today we will go about another one's important uh, concept and as we so much students will confuse about the types of negative feedback today we go for the another important uh, concept that is related to the feedback that is called the uh, types of negative feedback we are studying about them and uh, sorry today we for the lecture number 2 we started with the started with the lecture number 1 and today we have the lecture number 2 that is the uh, continuation of your uh, feedback yes. now we go for the types of types of negative feedback types of negative feedback it is also called as uh, another name in some standards they have given about uh, feedback Topologies. It is also called as feedback topologies. It is so important. And as I said to people, in amplifier, nothing but you are giving importance to the voltage amplifiers. In the same way, if whenever you are going for the feedback, nothing but you are only considering the negative feedback. And uh, in negative feedback, you are having the it is also called as types of negative feedback, it is also called as feedback topologies. In your uh, negative feedback, you have done the four types of negative feedback. You have done the four types of negative feedback. What are the four types? And uh, on the what basis you have done the types of negative feedback? One is, as we know, standard, the signal, the input or output signal. As we know, the input signal only voltage are correct. Output signal may be current or voltage. It means depending upon the current and voltage, you have done the feedback. Depending upon the what you are taking from the output. As I said, you are taking some part of output. That part of output may be current or voltage. You have done the classification, the feedback depending upon the current and voltage. And that uh, feedback signal, how you are connecting, it may be in series or in parallel. That's why we've done about the four types of uh, feedback connections or four types of feedback uh, topologies. It means uh, how you are uh, sampling and how you are mixing. Because in the output you are using sampling circuit, in the input you are uh, study or discuss with, you are using in the input mixing circuit. And how the output is sampled and that output how it is being mixed with the input. Then you have done the four types of uh, feedback. One is called uh, voltage, voltage series, voltage series, and the second one is called uh, voltage, <coughs> voltage shunt, or you can say about the in panel, voltage panel, and third one. Current series and the fourth one is about the current shunt. These are the types of negative feedback, it is also called as feedback topologies. It means, as uh, I just said already, it may be the input signal or output signal current and voltages that input signal or output signal how you are uh, giving back how you are uh, feeding back because in feedback of the input some part of the output is given back to the input then uh, that some part of the output may be current and voltage that how you are connecting to the input it may be in series or in the back that's why you are done about uh, voltage series feedback then let us come on the board feedback. Feedback. And here also feedback. It is common. And finally, we go for one by one. It is also important question. They will ask the exam 
explain the different types of negative feedback or not explain the different uh, topologies of negative feedback. We will go for one by one. Why it is called uh, voltage feedback? Why it is called voltage uh, shunt feedback? And why it is called current sense feedback? And why it is called current shunt feedback? We will go for one by one. And uh, before going for the actual uh, log diagrams of your uh, different types of feedback, maybe you have already started in your own basic about uh, because uh, as you know already you started in the basic uh, classes. What I said here in the output we want current or voltage. Then how to measure the output, voltage and current. As we know, always the voltage, always the voltage is measured, is measured by or by using the, the voltage measured by using multimeter. How to get multimeter? In panel. In panel. Always, <coughs> whenever measuring the output voltage, you have to measure the output voltage through panel. Whenever you are measuring the output voltage across any device, always you have to measure the output voltage by using multimeter in panel. And how to measure the output voltage in panel? how to measure the output voltage in parallel because as you studied already you know about the parallel and series combination of your uh, licenses look here for your uh, parallel combination yes this is the parallel combination in parallel combination which one is same the voltage is same if you take in series we are not getting the exact voltage. That's why you are connecting parallel. If we connect the multimeter parallel, we get the exact output voltage. Always measuring the output voltage, you are connected to the parallel. The voltmeter is connected in parallel. To measure the output voltage, the voltmeter is connected in parallel. Why? Because in parallel, the voltage will C. And in the same way, current current is measured yes is measured in series why the current is measured in series because whenever you are measuring the current or you are measuring the ammeter reading always you have to connect the ammeter or you are connect the, you are, when you are using the your multimeter you have to connect in series because <coughs> as you know already in series what is remain same in series in series the current will be same in series the current will be same we want the exact current if we connect in parallel we are not getting the exact uh, output current whenever you have to connect the whenever we are measuring the output current always you have to connect in series because in series what happens the current will be same this is about how we are measuring the current or voltages. Especially it happens in your sampling. It happens in the output and it is called sampling. We are taking the sample of the output. It may be current or voltages. That is something but the basic idea of uh, current, how to measure the current and voltage. In the same way, as we know, in the input, in the input, what is there in the input? Mixer. It means how we are mixing the voltage and currents. How we are mixing the voltage and currents. Whenever we are mixing, how to mixing mixing the voltage. Or you can say you are adding the voltage. Adding the voltage. Adding the how we are um, adding the subtracting the voltage. So we are adding the voltage. How we are adding
adding a surface rotation. That is while connecting in parallel. While connecting in series, sorry, it is connecting in series. Always while uh, mixing or by adding or subtracting the voltage, we are connecting in series. Why you are connecting in series? Because according to the your KVL, we can write about KVL, the V is equal to V1 plus V2. The total voltage is series equal to the sum of the integral voltages. Because of the, in the series combination what happens? The voltage divides in the CD combination, the voltage divides and uh, always whenever you are adding or subtracting the voltages but connecting series. This is also important when going for the in detail about the different types of uh, feedback uh, connections. While adding or subtracting the voltage but connecting series because in series the voltage divides. But also as you know the basic idea about uh, how actually uh, the voltage source means as studied already voltage source nothing but a, a voltage source is nothing but this is nothing but the, a voltage source <coughs> a voltage source and then resistance in series the interval resistance series it is called a voltage source a battery or the a voltage source in series with the interval source that is nothing but the voltage source and also as you know the in your whenever you are getting the voltage that voltage come from the voltage source and the voltage source is always nothing but a voltage source and a interval resistance series that's why you can use the Whenever you are adding or subtracting the voltage can use in series. In the same way for the current. In the same way for the current, how to add adding the current? How we are adding current? Yes, that is something but in parallel. Why because parallel? Because in parallel what happens? The in parallel the I is equal to once again I is equal to I1 plus I2. The total current is sum of the individual currents. It means whenever adding or subtracting current, but the current in and also as we know the, the current source and the resistance in parallel. That is something but the RS, the current source. Always in current source and the resistors are in parallel. The interval is in parallel. But in the voltage source, a voltage source in series the interval source. That's why you are connect in the whenever you are adding or subtracting the currents, you are connect in parallel. If you are having this much of knowledge, it is very simple to understand the different types of the feedback. Topologies are feedback uh, connections. First, you go for the most important thing that is nothing but your uh, voltage, voltage series feedback. Okay, series feedback. Look here, uh, I'll give small hint how to draw the block diagram, how to draw the feedback connection of uh, voltage series feedback. As we know in your uh, amplifiers, whenever you are going for the feedback amplifiers, there are the two important blocks. One is the basic amplifier, another one is about the feedback network. The basic amplifier and the feedback network. And uh, while uh, going for the while constructing or drawing the uh, voltage series feedback. But remember, the first word indicates it is nothing but your output. And second word indicates it is nothing but your input. The first word indicates it is nothing but your output. And second word indicates your input. It means, as we know, the output nothing but your sampling. 
input and input you are mixing. In the output you are sampling, but the input you are mixing. And uh, this much of knowledge we can draw the very easily the block diagrams of your different types of feedback. First you go for, as we know the basic, this is nothing but your uh, This is the basic amplifier. Can go for the basic amplifier. In the basic amplifier, basic amplifier, having the gain, and also having the feedback network. There are the feedback network. These are the two important uh, things. Feedback network. Or you can say about beta. Something from beta. This is called feedback network. And as we know, this is your inputs. Here also are like inputs and outputs. And uh, what I said. What is there in the output? You are in the voltage. And as I said, how you measure the voltage? Always, whenever you measure the voltage in the output, you have to connect in parallel. You have to connect in parallel. As I said, by how you are measuring the output voltage by using multimeter, connect in parallel. Here also same thing, you have to connect in parallel. And this is nothing but you are connecting parallel. And here, this is nothing but, and here I am in the R. This is nothing but here, this is nothing but R. And here I am in the V. This is nothing but your input section. And uh, here, in the input, what is the series? And as we know, in series means how you are uh, mixing the signal. As I said, always in series, the but you are mixing the voltage in series. You are mixing the voltage in series. It means you are connected to the series here. And here you are uh, using an um, voltage source, and this voltage source is in series. This is nothing but your VS, and this is nothing but your uh, connector. This is your V. This is a very simple way of your voltage series feedback. First what I said, the first word indicates output and as we know how to measure the voltage by connecting in, in parallel. Connect in parallel because always you are measuring the voltage in parallel. That's why connected in parallel. And uh, the second word indicates series. That is something about in the input section. In the input section, how you are mixing and uh, if it is series, what you have to mix the series. Always you have to mix the voltage in series. Always the series indicates you are mixing the voltage. The series indicates you are mixing the voltage because the series it is there in the input. But in the input you are having the mixing. What you are mixing? You are mixing the voltage because always you have to add or subtract the voltages by connecting in series. That's why this is about the simple way of your uh, voltage series feedback. And it is also called as another name of your uh, voltage series feedback. It is also called as in the output you are having the voltage. In the input also you are having the voltage. It is also called as voltage amplifier. Another name is called voltage amplifier. It is called voltage amplifier. It is called voltage amplifier because 
in the output also voltage, the input also voltage. That's why it is called voltage amplifier. It is called voltage amplifier. It is also called as the series shunt feedback amplifier. It is also called as in the input series, in the output the shunt. Don't confuse. This is enough. The voltage series is the but it is also called as voltage amplifier because output is also voltage, input also voltage. It is called and uh, what are the important uh, property of your uh, voltage series filter? The one important thing, we are giving more importance to the input impedance and output impedance. Look here, uh, in the input you are connecting in series. Because as you know, if you connect in series, especially the impedance of the but resistance. If the, in the if you are connecting series, as we know the basic, if you are connecting series, what happen in the series, the total resistance will be Rt is equal to R1 plus R2. It means in the series, the total resistance increases. It means the input impedance, we can write about the input impedance or you can write here the input impedance increases because you are connecting in series the input you are connecting in series and always the series if you connect in series the resistance adds the resistance adding the total resistance will be adding the effective resistance is remote that's why the input impedance increases and what about output impedance what about output impedance Yes, you want to say output impedance. Yes, if you are connecting in parallel. If you connect in parallel voices, the total voices reduces. It means the output impedance reduces. This is also an important uh, property of your voltage series filter. Why the input impedance increases? Because in the input you are, you are connecting series combination. You are connecting series, that's why input impedance increases. And how the output will be decreased because you are connecting in power. This is about in simple way of your voltage uh, series filter. Followed. Then go for another one. That is something about the voltage. Sorry. Another one is about the voltage shunt feedback. Go for another one. The voltage shunt filter. The voltage shunt feedback. Look here, we are also saying, as I said, the first word indicates output and second word indicates input. It means <coughs> in the output you are taking the voltage, but in the input you are uh, connecting shunt. Shunt nothing but, as I said, always you are adding or uh, Substarting current in path. Current in path. Once again, you draw the same diagram. <coughs> you are connecting in uh, DC amplifier. This called your uh, DC amplifier with A and A amplifier. And uh, as I said to people, you are also having a uh, feedback. Uh, Network, where I have the feedback network, where I have the feedback network, that is something about your data. And uh, as I said here, once again, you are having the output. What is there in the output? You are having the parallel connection. Because you are always you are measuring the output, you are measuring the voltage always in the parallel. You have to connect the in parallel. Connect in parallel. And here, you are making a jump. And here, same as usual, you are having an RF and uh, you are having it may be your uh, VNAR 
but as in your uh, input you are having the shunt shunt that you are connecting parallel why you are you connecting parallel because you are mixing the current because always you have to add or substitute the current in parallel now you have to connect the same you have to connect here and here you are using a uh, current source you are using a current source and this current source is what connect in parallel why it connect in parallel because as i said this is not for your if and this is not for is and uh, <coughs> look here uh, this is also very simple why you are connect output in parallel because we are measuring always the output in parallel always we are measuring the voltage in parallel because we want the we want to take some of the output and give on to the input how to take that uh, output voltage while connecting in parallel and uh, in the input we have to mix and uh, how you are mixing the currents that is in parallel the current can be added as subtracted while connecting in parallel because this said i is equal to i over plus i as you want the brief uh, idea about the uh, basics this is about uh, voltation field and here also same thing what about the input and output impedance what about the input and output impedance yes you can write about uh, and another thing it is also called as the output varying the voltage but the input varying the current it is called voltage by current it is called trans resistance it is called trans another name is called trans resistance and uh, in the input you are mixing how you are mixing 
that is in shunt, shunt nothing but you are mixing the current. This is the old, uh, uh, old tension filter. It is also called as trans resistance amplifier. It is also called as trans resistance amplifier because output is voltage and it is current. Now we will go for the next one. That is about uh, third one. That is about your uh, third one. Now we go for the now you started about the voltage. Now we go for the another type of uh, amplifier. Sorry, feedback connection. That is something for your uh, current. You go for the current. Yes, current series. Current series feedback. See how you have done the first one and two. Voltage series and voltage shunt feedback. Here also studying about the current series and current shunt feedback technologies. So feedback topologies so are feedback uh, connections. Now we go for say the first word indicate output and second word indicates input. Now once again you would draw the same uh, block diagram as uh, in an DC amplifier. Yeah, the Indian basic amplifier, the Indian basic amplifier, and the gain, and the gain A, or the Indian feedback network, the Indian feedback network, feedback network. That is something but you have done. And uh, once again, uh, I will do the numbers. Yes, as what, we, what is there in the output? It is there in the current. And as we know, in the output, we arrive in the current. And how to measure the output current? While connecting series. Always you have to connect the emitter in series. Whenever measuring the output current, the meter or it may be your multimeter you are connecting series. Now we are connecting series. We are connecting series. Yes, here also same. We are in the RL. And this we are connecting the series. Now we are in the RL. We are in the S. Yes, what is the output? We are in the I naught. I the I F. But this is about your uh, in the output side. What about in the input side? In the inputs are in the series, and uh, <coughs> how we are mixing the voltages or currents. If it is in series, means we have to use the voltage because always you are uh, mixing the voltage in series. Or you can adding or uh, subtracting the voltage in series. What are you in series? Yes, what are you in? Series. But the connecting series and here the Indian voltage source. The Indian voltage source. The Indian VS. And here in the yes, the in the I not. Series 
and uh, the input having the series connection and series connection only but always you are adding or uh, subtracting the voltage in series and here what i said here is also called as uh, the output having the current the input having the voltage it is called trans conductance it is called trans conductance cross conductance it's called trans conductance because in the output you are having the current and the input you are having the voltage with the ratio of current to the voltage that is called cross conductance amplifier and finally we go for that uh, input impedance input impedance yes the input impedance what happens you are connecting in series if you are connecting series what happens the input impedance increases because as we know if you connect a several resistance series the resistance increases it means input impedance increases also the output impedance the output impedance will be yes increases because in the output also connecting in series in the output also connecting in series that's why it is called trans conductance amplifier and uh, the important property of your current series feedback the input input increases the also output increases increases because the input you are connecting in series also the output also connecting in series this is about the third important topology third important type of uh, negative feedback that is current series feedback and finally go for the last that is something but uh, yes when you are the changes the remaining uh, the finally go for the current shunt feedback current shunt feedback or current uh, parallel feedback and once again see the first word indicate output and second word indicate and uh, here once again in the output we want to we want the current and that current uh, how we can measure current that is by connecting in series and in the shunt nothing but we are uh, in the input we are connecting shunt and when you are connecting shunt whenever you want the current always current add or subtract by connecting in pair now in same ground diagram yes uh, this is the final type of uh, feedback that is your uh, dc amplifier it the ad same feedback network same feedback network and uh, here also same as in the output you want the current and as we know always the current is uh, measured in series that is your uh, is not an attempt to hold this was here because all this uh, are the adding the subtracting the hold this part and like that here
Yes, there is nothing for your uh, yes. Because uh, here it will be your eye. Look here, the, in the shun, nothing but in the input, you are connecting in parallel. Why oh, you are connecting parallel? Because you are add or subtract to the voltage. And uh, in the input, you are acting out during the current. Always current you are measuring series. And uh, another important thing here is about uh, it is also called as uh, in the current shunt, nothing but in the output or in the current, in the input or in the voltage. We are having the voltage, sorry. Shunt, nothing but uh, use the current very, very sorry. But use the IS, sorry, sorry. It is called IS. It means, uh, you see another bit. Current shunt filter. In the output, you are having the current. We are measuring the current, you have to connect in C. But uh, in the input, you have to connect in shunt, parallel. It means, as I said, always the current can be added or substituted by connecting in parallel. Don't come this. You have to connect in parallel. Why you have to connect in parallel? Because you are adding or subtracting to current. Always uh, the current can be added or subtracted by using the power connection. And uh, now, as I said, the output current, input also current. It is called current amplifier. It is also called as current amplifier. It is called current amplifier. Because uh, in the input also current, output also current. It is called your current amplifier. It is called your current amplifier. And what about the input and output impedances? Input impedance. Yes, in the input impedance you are connecting in parallel. If it is connecting in parallel, what happens? The input impedance decreases. The input impedance decreases because you are connecting in parallel. What about output impedance? Output impedance. Output impedance. Yes, you are connected in series. That will be the most important property of your current shunt feedback is about in the input you are connecting in parallel. That's why the input impedance decreases. But in the output you are connecting in series. That's why the output impedance. Increases. This is about in uh, simple way of uh, your uh, different types of uh, different configurations of your uh, feedback network. It is also called as uh, different types of feedback topologies and it is also called as different types of uh, negative feedback uh, connections or types of negative feedback connections. And uh, in the next class, you will the another most important thing about. Uh, the voltage scheme of your uh, series voltage will be compared. In this, we have studied the nearly about uh, four types of feedback uh, topologies. I have studied about the four types of feedback uh, amplifiers or connections. In that four, the, we are giving more importance to the one that is called your, uh, your in, in that four, you are giving more importance to the Voltage series filter will go will give more importance to the voltage series filter. As compared to the all the four uh, feedback properties, will give more importance to the voltage series feedback uh, amplifier. Why you are using this uh, voltage series feedback means always we want the Input impedance, as I said, you want input impedance is more, but you want the output impedance. Output impedance, yes, that is given by your voltage series feedback. For all your studied about uh, voltage series feedback, you studied about uh, voltage. Uh, Shunt feedback, you have studied about current series feedback, you have studied about current uh, 
question feedback if you have done four types of feedback one is called voltage series feedback next one voltage shunt feedback next current series feedback and current shunt shift feedback in this uh, four uh, feedback uh, topologies we are giving more importance to the voltage series feedback because in this uh, voltage series feedback we will having the more important points and having the less of power points and in the next class we go for the the importance the we have to go for the some derivations and what is the voltage gain for your voltage series feedback